Tyson Fury owes Dillian White a fight. He's the WBC's mandatory challenger. And then, of course, Usyk owes Joshua a rematch as part of the rematch clause for when Usyk beat Joshua in September. So, behind the scenes, they were trying to make a step-aside deal. And I was told that there actually was an agreement in principle for both Dillian White and Anthony Joshua to take big bags of money to basically step aside and allow Fury and Usyk to proceed with an undisputed heavyweight title fight in June in Saudi Arabia. But I'm told at the last minute, at the 11th hour, that parties involved attempted to renegotiate, get a little more money, and then the deal fell apart. So now we're going to have Tyson Fury and Dillian White. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Fury, White's a top five heavyweight. Fury defends his title against White and then fights the winner of Usyk Joshua or Usyk or Joshua, that works for me to tell you the truth. So earlier this week, Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champ with the best mic skills, if not actual boxing skills since Muhammad Ali, had to say the following about negotiations. I tell you what, boys, there's some pack of cowards out there and some pack of talkers. I tell you that now. Making all the demands in the world, you cowards. Come and fight. I love this guy. Mike, that's the heavyweight champion of the world calling out all the other heavyweights. And this is a talent-rich heavyweight era right now. But meantime, it sounds like we're going to get, I, I would assume now, Usyk and Joshua the rematch, right? That's the plan, Max. Like I said, Usyk still owes Joshua a rematch, just like Andy Ruiz owed Joshua one after he beat him. It's going to be hard for Joshua to win after we saw the way Usyk looked. I mean, this guy was, like you said, the undisputed cruiserweight champion. He's fleet of foot, and that was not a close fight. I think Usyk could have knocked out Joshua if he had a few more seconds left in that round. But we're going to see when that fight happens, probably spring in the UK. I and mean, you have to assume that the winner would fight the winner of Fury White, which expects to be Tyson Fury. They're trying to get a deal done there. Uh, anticipation and I want to go back to the step aside deal under that deal Joshua was going to get a shot at the winner of Fury Usyk in December in Saudi Arabia so now we're going to see if Joshua can get past Usyk and get his heavyweight titles back thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus